one. Hello, hello, this is Arcades, and welcome to a bit of an update video here on Stormworks Build and Rescue. And, uh, yeah, um, so, last update, they added a, they had a whole bunch of fixes they did, but they added a part, the map icon part, and, uh, yeah. So we're going to take a quick look at it, see what it can do, maybe look over some of the other things, and, uh, yeah. Hope you like what you see, hope you enjoy watch. If you do, remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment, tell me what you think, and, uh, yeah. Let's check this out. Okay, so if we take a quick, quick, quick look at the notes. Okay, so what we got here is the update info. And this is the thing, map icon update. Minor update, add a new component, the map icon component. This component uses on your creation. Use this component on your creation to determine which part of your vehicle is considered the primary part of your vehicle for map purposes. The other parts will be considered secondary and will not show an icon. As well as this new part, the update predict largely fixes and updates with many important changes. There are many more minor updates and major updates in the works, as well as continuing on our new game. Let's do de developer live Q&A session, Thursday the 22nd. And this will answer questions live for at least an hour. While we won't confirm any unannounced features in development, we will discuss the pros and cons of any idea and suggestion and do our best to answer your questions. So, <clears throat> and we get down here. Feature, map icon block. This new block allows players to choose which vehicles in their vehicle group should render on the map. If no map icon in this block is found, the default behavior will remain rendering all vehicles in the group. We'll go over that in a moment. Uh, fixes, uh, I didn't see anything that was really, that really stood out. I mean, this one, vehicle flowback issue, fluid backflow issues with vehicle damage leaks, leak rate at equal pressures. This it mainly has to deal with, uh, seems like, uh, damage on boats. Uh... Liquid Roger, uh, Missing Stars, Space Description, Poison Ant Working, CO2 Author on um, Info Broken, Map, yeah, so, yeah, nothing that really is it. So the big thing we're going to focus on is Map I Okay, so what we have here is if you see, I've talked about this quite a bit, I've had a few of my videos, we have my G2 Optimus Prime. Now we look at this on the map, and when we go here in the map, you will see, see, I'm right here, and here it is. Vehicle made by MI62 Read 1, that's me, and the creator of it. And you'll see there's a whole bunch of little itty bitty vehicle icons. That shows all the different vehicle, you know, different bodies that are a part of this vehicle group. What does the vehicle group mean? To put it in short, the cab is one body, the trailer is another body, and then also on this truck I have two adapters. Now we got a, a fluid connector, so in case that is what I have available, I can use it to fill the tanks here. And we have an electrical connector, so you can just attach. So if you had a connector, you could attach this to it and help charge it. If you didn't have a cable for whatever reason, it's there. I planned for it and I built it. So, but the thing is, is the trailer this and that and the cab all of their own vehicles in that icon group now there's a few others inside here that have to deal with things that i'm currently uh working on because it's kind of like my test rig for building stuff but so it's kind of pertinent but anyways i take rest so the new map icon that part they added now alleviates that i have Another copy of the truck sitting over there, and you'll notice this is the same one, but there's only one icon. Well, this is what that block does. But it also has a little bit extension. While I was playing with it, you can also do this. Now here's the thing. You see two here. What I have over there, I have the same truck. But we've got two icons for it. Well, we got the one. 
And then we got G2 Optimus Cab and Trailer. So I identified the trailer and the cab. And uh, you really don't have to do anything special for that. Other than some basics. So, um, yeah. Let's take this back to the workshop. Take a look at the part and show you what I did. And believe it or not, it's not hard. Okay, so we're back in the workbench. And here it says, map icon. Vehicle tracking block. When on a vehicle, the vehicle will show up on the map and other vehicles in the group will be hidden. The custom name set here will be the name set on the map. So, all I did is literally, as you can see, here's the thing, and I just basically stabbed the block right there. That's it. That's all I had to do. And then you can come down here, use your select tool, put it on the block, and it gives you a name. And there you can name it. In this case, I will just do G2, you know, Optimus. Just like that. Go spawn it. We go to spawn it, and look at the map. There it is, G2 Optimus. Just like it says there. So, now, what about for the other part? Where I just identified both the cab and the trailer. Well, all I did was stick a block on the trailer. Just like that. And then I took the naming. Actually, I should do this. I took the name and I added cab to the cab. And then took the second section and just... You know, changed it from to to say G2 Optimus trailer, just like that, just naming it. Now you can see I got the cab and the trailer. And now, as you can see on the map, trailer is sitting back here while I'm driving forward in the cab. So it tracks each section individually. Do not mind the extra block in the road. <laughs> now, the pros and cons of this. Pros, it cleans up your map. So when you pull out a vehicle that has a lot of extra subbodies, um, you're not seeing every single thing, you know, like, say you don't want to see the missiles that are on your wings. You can put the missile on there. But thing is, the con to that is, if you lose that body part, you won't know if it's lost because it no longer has an icon for it. That's pretty much the major con to it. So, if it's meant, so like a missile, it's supposed to be destroyed and deletes itself, well, that's not a big deal. But say you have a more important part that you're wondering where the hell it is, and you don't have it identified, well, yeah, you can tell there's going to be issues. Oh, uh, yeah. So, and from what I could tell from my testing, there's not a big issue if it's not on the main red body. And if you've been, if you played a lot, then you'll know that there's a red body that is the primary body of the vehicle. In this case, like I said, red right in here, I have it on the cab. So if I break it apart and it's only on the trailer, it should just read the trailer. Yeah, see, trailer. And then when I go and get in the cab, we'll disconnect one more time. It'll probably end up, it'll just sit with the trailer, and the truck isn't listed at all. So, um, yeah, keep that in mind. And if the trailer get then if your truck gets lost, and the block is not functioning properly, uh, yeah, or not placed properly, you could lose out on something important. And not so now, what if the block gets damaged? Well... Here we go. 
Block is damaged. It's still showing where it's at. So even if the block gets damaged, you don't have to worry about losing. Uh, it's not showing on the map, as you can see. So, yeah. All right. So, yeah, that was a brief overview of the update that we got and which introduced the map icon block will help clean up the clutter from too many things on your map and actually help you identify what parts are sitting there on the ground should they fall apart and you want to use multiple. So it doesn't seem like there's any real drawback from using multiple and yeah so I mean there might be clutter from data and such might like things down but I think for the most part as long as you're conservative and don't get crazy with it yeah it should be fine. So uh yeah Hope you had a good time. Hope you enjoyed your watch. If you did, you know the deal. You know the spiel. This is Arcades, signing out. Have yourself a good day. Whee!